Hello, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box just below this video. Welcome to day four of the 12 cast-ons of Christmas and it's Christmas day here. Um, my friend Jeanette sent me a link to a video of a lady talking about um, festive traditions in the Shetland Isles I think and there was a very um, sad warning tale at the end of that video um, that on Christmas Day people should not pick up their knitting <laughs> because there is a tale of a poor lady who decided rather than down tools for Christmas Day um, she carried on knitting and sadly she didn't make it until the next Christmas. <laughs> Let's hope that's not going to be true for me. I did knit last Christmas Day and I'm still here so fingers crossed. <laughs> Before I chat about what I'm actually going to cast on today, um, I just want to say a very big thank you um, to everyone who has supported the channel in the last year, um, who's sent me well wishes, left me comments. Um, the last few weeks in particular, um, I've been sent some wonderful gifts, um, some things I knew were coming, some surprises, and yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you. I, I can't tell you how grateful and touching um, it has been to have all of your lovely support out there. Yeah, just thank you. I hope you all have a lovely festive season, um, whichever holiday you celebrate. So for today's cast on, I am bucking the trend a little bit. Um, if you followed the rest of these videos, you know that I have a friendship theme running through my cast ons this year. Um, I don't have um, anything today that has been sent to me or gifted to me um, but I am casting on a project that's kind of connected to family instead. Um, so if you follow the channel for a while you know that um, coming up for two years ago now, it'll be two years in February, March, we went to New Zealand. Um, James's sister lives there and she got married so we went to um, celebrate her wedding. And while we were travelling around, um, I picked up a few souvenir yarns. So I'm casting on um, one of those things today. Um, and it will be living in this project bag that I made from fabric that I picked up at um, the Stitching Post. <laughs> and if you watched yesterday's video, um, you'll know that I have some more lovely fabric from that shop to sew up into another bag for myself, um, which I can't wait to do. Um, but I purchased this fabric. It's a really lovely bright yellow and green fabric with these stylized Tui birds and James's sister had a Tui in her garden um, who was very elusive <laughs> but I did manage to spot it near the end of the of the holiday. They have a very distinctive call, these Tui birds. And in that project bag I have put this kit um, that I picked up and this is from Stansborough. Um, Stansborough are a company that is um, definitely connected with the um, Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit films I believe and there's a little card inside of this kit um, which says that Stansborough New Zealand are the licensed weavers for the Hobbit. Um, so obviously this is why there was a kit at Hobbiton and um, it's called Boffer Patchwork Scarf Kit. In this kit, if I can open it up, there is yarn to make this beautiful scarf. So I've got three skeins of this mithril yarn, um, which is a DK 100% pure New Zealand wool. And I first saw this kit when we were visiting Hobbiton and I really loved they had a, a made sample of the scarf and it's really pretty the colors are gorgeous um but the price of that kit was just too much um but then when we were shopping in auckland um, we found a little yarn shop and they had the same kit for probably a third of the price um so i snapped it up and um james has actually said that he would um wear this scarf so i'm hoping that he will <laughs> Um, but this is what I'm going to cast on today. It should be a fairly quick knit, um, 10 millimetre needles, um, so it's quite an open scarf and it looks like it's just garter stitch. So I'm hoping this will be a fairly quick knit. 
Uh, so yeah, that's the project that I shall be casting on today. I'm not sure how much time we'll get today. Um, we've got cooking to do, um, but I'm sure after the cooking has been done, um, we will have a nice relaxing afternoon um, with some movies probably, some TV. Um, but we'll see if I can stay awake for, for knitting time. <laughs> Generally, there's plenty of dozing after Christmas dinner. Anyway, I'll try and take a little bit of footage of our Christmas day along the way, um, if I can. I'm not going to make any promises because obviously I want to be present rather than um, just behind the camera all the time. So we shall see. Delicious. Morning or evening or afternoon. I don't know when you'll be watching this. <laughs> it's morning for me. It's the 26th of December and I am back to confess how much progress I got on my Hobbit scarf yesterday. I hope that whatever you did yesterday, you enjoyed your day. We certainly had a very nice day. Um, we didn't venture out of the house, which was a bit of a shame because it was a nice sunny day, but I couldn't persuade anyone else to leave the house. It's a great, slightly wet day here today. So if I wasn't able to persuade them to go out on a sunny day, I probably don't have much hope on a rainy day. <laughs> but hopefully I'll get out and get some fresh air feeling quite tired. Do you get that when you stay in and you don't really do much? Makes you feel tired. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Well, I show you the progress that I made on my scarf. Um, as always, I just want to give a little shout out to some of you lovely folks out there who have been kind enough to leave a comment to let me know what you're casting on or working on. The lovely Pamela who mentioned the Alaska hat yesterday, um, I did look that hat up and I had seen it before, I just hadn't registered that it was called the Alaska hat. It's this gorgeous sort of uh, silhouettes of trees and you can make uh, the background look like a sunrise or a beautiful sky. Um, so yes, that is a gorgeous hat, Pamela. I am quite envious that you will be the owner of one of those shortly. Kathleen mentioned that she's cast on a pair of socks and in the new year she'll be casting on a sweater, um, which is lovely. I am completely sweater obsessed at the moment. 
the lovely Jeanette, who I mentioned yesterday, um, who said that she hadn't decided what she was going to be casting on, left a, a lovely comment to say that she has decided to knit the Sherwood blanket. And I did have time to quickly look that up this morning. And it's a gorgeous sort of modular blanket with lots of different texture. And um, she's going to be knitting that in some low P yarn, which I think is going to be absolutely stunning. And the lovely State of Denial, who is also dueling needles over on Instagram, has cast on a pair of socks and also the Waiting for Rain shawl. I love the Waiting for Rain shawl. If I remember rightly, that's a design by... Sylvia McFadden? I might have that wrong. Um, but it's either in my queue or on my, on my favourites and it has been since that pattern was released. And I actually have some yarn um, that I've got in mind for it in my stash. Although that may be becoming my love note sweater. I still haven't decided yet. <laughs> Vicky said she's going to be casting on the Changing Staircases shawl. That was another one that I hadn't heard of. So I looked that up and it's really beautiful. Um, lots of lovely shawls being cast on and I've got a few on my cast on list as well. Barbara said she'd be casting on a sweater for herself um, after doing lots of knitting for others recently. So well done Barbara, I'm glad that you're able to get something on the needles for you. That will be a lovely treat to yourself at this time of year. Then my friend Lou, hi Lou. Um, I got your comment on through on email but it disappeared from YouTube for some reason so I wasn't able to like it or respond to it. Um, anyway, Lou said she's going to be casting on a pair of socks, a shawl and a cardigan which is fantastic. That's a well-rounded group of projects there isn't it? And then Tammy who is a new viewer. Hi Tammy. Um, I have subscribed to your YouTube channel but I won't have time to check it out for a few days but I'll definitely pop back and watch some of your videos. Um, Tammy says she's going to be concentrating on getting 12 things cast off, <laughs> which I think is a brilliant idea. I could probably do with that myself rather than casting on, but... <laughs> Who's keeping track? Only me. <laughs> uh, so yes, thank you so much for continuing to leave comments and let me know um, what you're working on. Um, it's already a really fun part of these videos for me. So yesterday's Hobbit scarf, I managed to get a fair bit of progress. This is knit on 10 millimeter needles. So you don't really have to put in much knitting time to show some progress. Uh, but this is what I have so far. So I've got this gorgeous um, first stripe of blue and then this second stripe of the lovely rusty color. It's the uh, Mithril yarn by Stansborough. Um, so I've got this one more colour to add next. Um, it's a really simple garter stitch scarf and then you block it really aggressively um, to sort of stretch it out and make sort of like these obvious um, steps with the garter stitch once um, it's blocked out. Let me try and show you on the pattern. I think you can see, just about see what I mean there. Uh, so yes, I have finished the first two stripes of the um, scarf and I'm ready to bring in the third colour um, but that seemed like as good a place as any to stop for now. Um, James has said that he may wear this scarf so I'm hoping that will be the case and that I'll be able to gift it to James once it's finished but there's still a lot of knitting left to do on that one before I'm anywhere near the finishing point. <laughs> It was quite a good um, Christmas day knit actually. Um, we were sort of quite busy um, late morning to early afternoon with dinner preparations and stuff like that. Um, and then everyone was pretty much stuffed out after, <laughs> after eating a big dinner. But then we had to make some family phone calls and catch up with James's sister in New Zealand. So uh, the day seemed to go by pretty quickly. Um, so this was a great project just for me to sort of pick up and put down whenever I fancied knitting a row or two without having to concentrate too much at all. Um, so yes, that's going to be living in my Tui um, New Zealand bag for now. And we shall see when we get back to it. Um, but for today it's time for something new <laughs> and you'll find out all about that if you join me for the next video. Uh, so until I get to spend time with you again I hope that you get to do some of the things that you enjoy. Until next time great big woolly hugs to you all. Bye for now. <laughs>